Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My call sign is November 9. We are about to enter the Warrens. And see what's in here. Some kind of monster, I guess. My uncle tells me you're a man of questionable morals, Mr. Kwan. Well, Don't have time for that, Lucia. Somebody's gotta get their hands dirty. A good folk like you can keep your hearts clean. Huh. He's not dead yet. Alright, here we go. I think there's one more enemy over here, I think. All right, good job, Lucia. Except that whole part where you started talking to Quan. Right, so I was getting into combat. We got an ornament for our vehicle, which we will probably never use. And a little bit of ammo. All right, here's a junk pile. Uh, let me just check. That made me think about something. All right, do I need anything else here? No. All right. See there are vehicles down here. Um, all right, we're coming up, I guess, on a Piazzo stronghold of some sort. All right, we start off with a kill. That's good. And let's see what we can do with this grenade. And then we'll just move into cover here. All right. Uh, we're gonna move all the way up into the other side of cover and then use our flamethrower. Nice. All right, we're going for this guy with Leroy Brown. There is a kill. And we're gonna lob a turret out right over here. All right, Let's see a Wesson. Take one shot at the Piasso Bastard. And miss. Marshall Kwan. Oh, don't want to shoot that. You can move here and shoot. And then a precision strike. And finished him off. All right, Mercy. No, not yet. I'm gonna move Mercy into cover. And then we're gonna shoot. Is anybody else I can shoot at? No. All right, that was a good round for us. Oh, she got a lucky. Uh, we got all our points back, all our AP back. Um, and one more shot. This will probably miss, and it does. All right. Right around 
Oh, so they light the pigs on fire, uh, covered with dynamite, and then the pigs run at people and blow up. So. <coughs> Alright, Lieutenant Chuckles, we will throw another hand grenade at you. And go back into hiding and hope nobody hits that tank of nitrogen in front of us. <laughs> Alright, we took that pig out so he can't be set on fire. Um, now we'll just throw a Molotov cocktail. And he resisted the burning somehow, and then we will reload our flamethrower and defend. All right, this guy we're gonna. Ooh, yeah, let's take out the pig. Precision strike, and the pig is now stunned, and the pig is now dead. And we will go right here. Uh, Lucia. And one more time. All right, and defend. Quan. Not doing a whole lot of damage there to old Lieutenant Chuckles. Mercy. Alright, finished them off. Good. And we will save this for next time. We're gonna skip right to Mercy and see if she can just... Oh, probably not. Oh well, we'll try anyway. Oh, 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 oh my god, if those were as close as that appears to be, that's very disappointing that she just missed like that. Uh, let's go right here with Ogre, <clears throat> and hit absolutely nothing, go right here with Burn Unit. Oh, and we did light him up pretty good. Leroy Brown, finish him off. Alright, I swear you're going to finish him off. Alright, so that went relatively well. Nobody was damaged or anything. And whatnot. And so we took out a large group of the Piasos. And we got some people that leveled up. Leroy Brown leveled up, so we're going to put this into coordination. And we're close to maxing that out. Put this into melee combat. Although I need to start putting the rest of that into mechanics, I think. And here's one of the best ones right here, hack and slash. Attacking the same target twice around with a bladed weapon executes a free bonus attack. So we definitely want that. And that's uh, that. Moving on to Lucia. You know, I think I'm going to put it into Charisma to start increasing her strike rate and leadership range and all that stuff. And we got three points to spend here. And so we'll put it into Animal Whisperer. And then we'll put this into um, Spirit Animal, Barter, Leadership. Hmm. Um, we will go with Leadership for now. 
Although, uh, I think I'm going to charm a pig here in a moment with her. Um, because we can. Oh, we can't charm that pig. All right. All right, let's see if we're still keeping our Ofer streak with Prospector. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is that maybe um, in the selection process, it didn't recognize that I had selected Prospector, and so that's why it is not proccing at all. Um, that's just a guess. All right, Lucia charmed one of these pigs, and the pig bonus is Constitution plus 15. <laughs> well, hey, that's all good, I guess. And then uh, we can have Mercy charm one as well. Or fail to charm one. All right, here's a door that's not blocked by other stuff, so we'll pick it. And what is it here? Ammo box, pile of junk, medical crate, and it's a dead end. All right. Oh, here's another crate here. Payaso's mission tape. Some of you pendejos keep asking me, what the fuck are we doing in this shithole? It's simple. See, we're uh, gonna disrupt the market. Yeah, the whole market with uh, the great joke. <laughs> you know, uh, bring this fucking place to a standstill. Gonna teach these cabrons how to laugh if we gotta kill them all to do it. We'll be treated as liberators. What I'm saying is, we gotta destroy the bazaar in order to save it. Now, get the fuck out of here. I need some executive time with Senorita Puerca. Okay, that's disturbing. Um, we'll fix this generator. And mess with the computer. This computer is agonizingly slow. It appears to be broken and rife with corrupt data. Text displays indicate that the computer is in the control hub for something called a monstrous prison block. Access temperature controls. Sounds good. Initializing temperature controls rebooting. Warning. System below minimum viable temperature. Doors inoperable at current temperature. Activate defrost systems. Yes, we will activate the defrost systems. Initiating systems. Activating heater coils. Please, please keep clear as doors defrost. Defrosting successful. So all the doors that were blocked with the big chunks of ice are now not blocked with big chunks of ice. Accessing prisoner logs. This data appears to be ancient and long corrupted. You can't recover any of the prisoner data, but you do learn... The most recent entry is several decades old. Access guard logs. The data in the guard logs is largely corrupted, but you can piece together that this place was once used as a prison facility by the Monster Army. Its operations were shut down almost 50 years ago when the Patriarch conquered the bazaar. And that's that. All right. Ooh, locker over here. And we got a joke book and a machine gun and some other stuff. We also got a hog helmet, armor. Um, I guess just for yucks, we'll put that on this guy right now. <laughs> oh boy, that looks silly. All right, open the door. Look, there's a dead body right here. Foam finger crafting recipe. Show them who's number one. All right, so can we make the foam finger? Um, probably not. We need another punctured clown nose. All right, so. Ooh, we also picked this up. Hit chance. Perception. 
Uh, I think I'm going to give that to Lucia. Um, all right. Parking meter. We will loot a parking meter and get a silver coin. Pre-war coins small to fit in parking meters and vending machines. This is probably a quarter. Uh, this probably goes upstairs to that area we found near the dentist earlier. Here's a truck with some money and a nose ring in it. And here is another pig. And here are some enemies that we will shoot at and throw grenades at. All right, and then we will move up. All right. Burn unit, we're gonna set this guy on fire. And he's pretty hurting. And we will just reload because we can't do anything else. And then we'll move up a little more. Leroy Brown, can we finish this guy off? Yes, we finished him off. And oh, I got three AP out of it. That's not really enough to do anything. And I would love to move here so they attack me instead of lighting the pig on fire. But that puts me in danger of being killed, but I guess I'm just going to do it anyway to see what happens. Alright, it wouldn't let me move there, so here's going to have to do. Lucia, too far away to do anything. We're just going to move her up behind cover. Marshal Quan. We'll move him over the other side here and we will shoot at this explosive barrel, which did what I needed it to do. Then we'll attack the Piaz of Fuego and do some damage there and then we will defend. All right, Mercy. Oh, she can get a shot. At Piazza Fuego down here. And that's a good hit. Alright, this could get uglier. Oh, one pig is on fire. Ooh, and I resisted burning. Nice. Oh, two pigs are on fire. That's not good. All right, I really need like an area effect attack or something right now. Um, we're gonna move up here and shoot at Lieutenant Giggles. And I just shot my own big guy even more. I don't know what I got a lucky thing for because it didn't do anything. All right, uh, burn unit. Well, he set someone on fire. All right. Leroy Brown. We'll attack the hot hog. Oh, and there's that bonus strike that comes in so handy, folks. And then we'll do one attack on Piazzo Fuego, which missed. All right, Lucia, got to be very careful here. Oh, look how bunched up I am. This is terrible. One shot at Lieutenant Giggles. At least I hit him. And then we'll back off because I don't like how bunched up I am. Marshal Quan, I am going to... move up here uh, 
All right, Mercy got one. Um, and then I, I'm gonna move her to right here, and then save that. Oh no! Oh, I think the pig was stunned. This is the bad part. Look how bunched up everybody is now. So everyone is on fire now. At least my pig is killing their pig. Alright, Ogre versus Lieutenant Giggles. Boy, that really did not do a whole lot of damage. Alright, um... Burn unit doing a torrent strike. Alright, we killed their pig. And I injured my own pig. And then we'll do it again here. So I killed my pig. But uh, I damaged them a little bit. We'll just create a little bit of space here. Uh, gotta be really careful when you're maneuvering. Because the game will run you. This is like a merry-go-round covered with razor blades. So I would move your character back independently of the attack. And now that you're in a safe place, then go for the attack. So I did not finish off Lieutenant Giggles, so I'm going to run away. All right, Lucia Wesson. Headshot. Good night. Leadership kill boosted everybody in the party. Then Paso Fuego. And then we'll defend. Juan. Oh gosh, there's like one hit point left. All right, maybe not. Maybe not that few hit points, but not a lot. And Mercy. All right. Um, can we get everybody out of the way of the spinning Ferris Wheel of Death? All right, let's go heal everybody up here before people start dropping like flies. All right, all healed up. Burn unit leveled up. Um, we'll put it into... Uh, we'll put it into awareness. Skills-wise, we got four points. We're going into toaster repair. And then perks, we're going for heating element. 25% bonus fire damage. Only for this kind of character. Is that worth it, in my opinion? Alright, he's the only one who leveled up. Now I'm going to select just my point man to go collect the loot in here so I don't run into the Ferris Wheel of Death. Here's another pig. I might send Lucia to charm. Who would have thought that children's playground would make a great make for a great explosive pig training ground? Well, certainly not me. All right. Then Lucia in there. Wait a minute, wasn't there a real pig over here? Not a... Yeah. Alright, we tamed another animal to replace the last one. If he saw it get killed by us, I wouldn't be very happy. All right, a little bit of loot there. Everybody's all formed back up. And we found a safe here. Perfume, mission, critical item. Huh. All right, and Mercy leveled up. And we'll just start putting that into awareness. And we got four... 
sorry, three points we'll put into sneaky shit. All right. Uh-oh, you can see there's a guy right there. A clown who's trying to make a vending machine work. All right, everybody, quit moving around. All right, let's get this toaster here. Tarzan token, toast, EMP grenade, and some cash. Got to stay out of these detection circles if I can. Although Quan is in one. All right. I think I got everybody where I need them to be. And we will crouch. And we'll shoot center mass on Piasso Trickster. All right. All right, took him out. Get three AP left. Really can't do anything with that except for defend. Burn unit, we will uh, get Lieutenant Giggles here with a little bit of flamethrower action. And then defend. Leroy Brown, we will go for the passive trickster out here and finish him off. And then this other Piasso Trickster. And I think he's one round away from being dead. Lucia versus Lieutenant Giggles. All right, better than nothing. Uh, back her up. Marshall Quan versus Lieutenant Giggles using a precision strike. And again, oh, if we just had one more action point, he'd probably be dead right now. We'll move Quan over to here for future use uh, from cover. And then Mercy can't do anything except for mark this person. And then we will actually, I will back up and prepare. Uh-oh. Lots of smoke clouds out there. Alright, we're gonna sh actually let's uh, go after him with Leroy Brown. You missed. You missed again. You missed again. Oh my god. You're horrible. All right, Lucia. And we got a precision strike. And that is a kill. And we'll just back her up a little bit. Marshall Kwan, Lieutenant Giggles. Let's, let's move here to get straight on shot. And we took out Lieutenant Giggles. And we did not take out the Piasso Trickster. All right, Mercy. Missed one more time. All right, only one left. 
can we get maybe not? Is there one left? Yeah, there is one left. Uh, I am just going to go into ambush mode here. Oh, if only I could have finished him off. Get him, pig. One more. All right, well, that was that. All right, I think we can create the... Uh, The foam finger? No, I guess we can't. Punctured clown nose. I don't know. I guess I'm getting other stuff. Alright, let's look around here for loot really quickly. Jukebox. This jukebox has been damaged beyond repair. There will be no jukebox hero today. Well, that is disappointing. I had one guitar. All right, uh, antidote over here. Container. Vending machine. Let's interact with the vending machine. Initiate customer protocol. Valued customer. Enjoy the fabulous gifts little Vendo will bestow upon you. Error override. Vendo will not give up its riches. Not to anyone. Alright, you could say, what do you mean riches? Examine the machine. Nerd stuff 5. Override the prize control unit. That is what we're going to do. What? What is happening to me? My mind is going. I can feel it. There is no QE unit overridden. Enjoy your fabulous prize. My riches, please. All right, sorry, I was talking on mute. We got the uh, ramen noodles for Masato. Uh, and we could say, what do you mean riches? But instead, we'll just insert a silver coin. No. No. I refuse. I will not. Rebooting. I will not. I must not give in. Semper Fi. Rebooted. Enjoy your fabulous prize. My riches, please. All right, we got some alcohol. I haven't been using any alcohol, and I know I have a character who's meant to use alcohol. All right, we don't have any more quarters. Um, so we're going to leave the machine alone. And have an awful day, thieves. Yeah, thanks. I didn't steal anything. Um, so if we find more quarters, we can come back and get more stuff from Little Vendo. All right, got another area here. Oh, there's a junk pile. And we can use repair to repair this machine. <coughs> there is another uh, parking meter thingy, my bobber. These people don't pay attention very much. All right, look at that. You can get two at the same time. All right, that was awesome. All right, burn unit. We're gonna get one kill at least, maybe two. All right, two kills. Uh, and then we'll just go into defend mode. And can Leroy finish this guy off with one hit? No, he did poison him. Alright, look at that bonus hit. Took him down to the very end. Lucia Wesson finished him off. All right, so that was that. I hope you guys are starting to see why I composed the party out the way I did. I'm not saying 
doing it another way is wrong. I'm just saying that's why I did it. So I have two guys up front who do a lot of damage and can take a lot of damage. Um, got the melee guy to run around and disable stuff and set stuff off. And then hopefully uh, Lucia eventually will just be finishing off wounded people and giving everybody boosts by doing it. All right, so um, we're moving on here. Ooh, that's a big one. All right, another hand grenade towards the frost crawler. And we'll take cover. Uh, I'm gonna move him up. Make sure we actually get a hit. And he's engulfed. Okay. Leroy Brown with a thundering strike. And now he is stunned. Shouldn't that have triggered a third strike? I guess not, because I did a thundering strike. Alright, Lucia Wesson. Not enough AP. Alright, well I guess we're just gonna save those for later. Quan, I'm gonna switch to this uh, energy weapon. Alright, and mercy. Alright, well that went well. Alright, a little bit of loot here. Another parking meter. A dead body. And we are still over and hunting for gold nuggets. Alright. And this goes back out into this main room here. So we've pretty much looked at everything except for these doors here. Alright, this one has some weapons crates in it. Ooh, plasma linkage. And a melee weapon called Ribcracker. Click 19. Alright, what is in this one? Drug stash. And a revolver called Frostbite. Does use energy cells, but I'm not. Let's see. Old Man Winter does 54. Oh, well, Frostbite does more than that. Uh, this is better base damage. Let me see if I can mod it a little bit. Uh, Columbian Barrel will just increase the damage more. We'll increase the hit chance and the critical chance. All right, so that's all that. Um, we're going to leave the last one for now. This, uh, I just want to leave it for now, and I'll explain why afterwards. All right, loot pile. Container. All right. And here's the machine. I am going to quick save right here. And then I am going to take some drugs and alcohol.
Um, where are the drugs and alcohol? So I want to equip this guy right there. All right, we're going to drink some Prairie Punch. And then Mercy is going to smoke a Brago Big Vegas cigar. All right, and now we're going to mess with the computer. On the monitor, the following words appear. Piasos only, Caleros. If you can't finish the limerick, you don't get through the door. Comprende? First line's free. You pendeos all want us to croak. Now type the next one. And so amongst the stuff we picked up, we picked up some clues. So the answer is we're the punchline to every joke. So far, so good, Puto. What's next? You pendejos all want us to croak with a punchline to every joke. And then we found another clue that says, but El Payaso Mayor. Halfway there, fucker. Now what? You pendejos all want us to croak with a punchline to every joke. But El Paso Mayor. Well, even the score from our third clue. Now finish it, motherfucker. You pendejos all want us to croak with a punchline to every joke. But El Paso Mayor will even the score. Um, I, th I think that this is probably the right answer and shit down your throats till you choke. There, you made it. Go the fuck in. All right. So this is the, uh, big combat here, the boss for this level. So let me get the right weapon, uh, for everybody. Well, that's not a lot of flamethrower stuff. Oh, see, look at that. You put a new weapon on. You got to make sure it's loaded. All right, I think we're good. Here goes nothing. The payaso Rojo's return is nigh. The grand carnival will consume all. And we're just going to... All right, we're going. All right, missile strike into the midst of all that nonsense. And now we got a hand grenade. And I think we can get all three of them with it as well. And then we're going to move to the side. They got a barrel right here, so I definitely want to get away from that burn unit. We're going to uh, light this guy on fire, or try to. And then defend. Alright, Leroy Brown. We're going to start by throwing a saw pup over here. And then we're going to throw another saw pup over there. And um, then I'm going to move into cover and ambush mode. All right, Lucia Wesson, I'm going to move her into cover. And um, let me switch to Mercy real quick to get her out of the way. Because I want to shoot this barrel right here. So we're going to move, move Mercy back. We're going to have her crouch. And then we're going to have her shoot at this guy, pal, so bastard, right here. And she did hit him. And then we're going to do that. All right, so back to Lucia. We're going to shoot this oil tank. And that's, I know I damaged my own people by doing that, but I did not want to do that when I had a bunch of other people around there. All right, uh, Quan, we will first aid Ogre here. Quit screaming, Quan, you're fine. And we'll move him over to there. And uh, can I shoot something? Yes, I can. 
And one more time. All right, slop pups, getting it done. Yeah, Ditso is very strong. All right, let me do something I probably should have done in the beginning. And we will rally everybody with Lucia. And then I'll shoot one shot at Ditso and this. Oh, got a lucky shot. And you know what? I'm going to fall back. Maybe get some better aim next time. Alright. Um, one. Doesn't really have good targets here. And a precision strike, which could be at anybody. We're going to go on dead so. At least we hit him. And then back to the original target. And I'm going to switch back to the other weapon here. Uh, Mercy against this Pias of Fuego. Killed him. And now Mercy has a precision strike against Ditso. And we'll take it. <clears throat> and then I'm going to move her even farther back. Alright. Oh, I don't have a thing to do that with. I can do a torrent strike against uh, did so and the guy behind him if the thing would ever cooperate and of course it did not shoot at anybody that I wanted to shoot at why is this hit percentage so low I don't know what's going on here we're just going to throw a uh, hand grenade that did so the other guy. Killed the other guy, so that's good. And then I'm going to move back a little bit. Alright, uh, Burn Unit, I'm going to wait on you. Leroy versus Ditso. Miss. Hit him once. Oh. Oh my god, he's missing all over the place. All right, we're gonna move over to here. Uh, I'm gonna throw a Molotov at this pile, so Trickster. Set him on fire. And we're gonna just flamethrower did so. And now we have to reload. And so we'll just stay where we're at. Oh boy, that pig. I think Ogre's going to be dead. <laughs> Alright, he is dead. And Lucia's dead. And this is now just going great. 
At least that pig is killing people. Good grief. Alright, burn unit versus Ditso. Oh, he's not dead yet? One more time. Alright, Ditso is dead. And we're going to resurrect... Uh, Lucia. And... We will save the rest of our points. We're going to resurrect Quan. And then we're going to attack the Great Gurn. I don't I don't get the reference, but he is almost dead. And then we'll just take cover back here. Alright, Lucia will have a whole lot of health, so we will heal ourselves. And she got a lucky heal. Alright, Marshall Quan. Uh, the Great Gird. He is dead. And now we're shooting at the Pass of Trickster. And we did hit him one more time. Hit him again. And we will go into defend mode. And... Oh, I don't have a lot of good shots here. So we will move back into the room. Uh, Alright, the only guy we really have a good shot at. And we missed. So go back into crouch mode and then save it for next time. Alright, Ogre, we'll just heal ourselves. And that's the end of our turn. two people now. We will revive Mercy. Uh, and we'll just move up into cover and save it for next time. Burn units got to reload. And we just set everybody on fire. And then we will revive Lucia. And defend. Mr. Leroy here is going to take this guy out. And, and we're going to move over here into cover. Of course, he's going to run through the fire. But thankfully, he's not... Did he get set on fire? I guess he did. Alright. Uh, I'm just going to get killed and waste heals if I just keep healing Lucia. So I'm just going to um, shoot the hot hog. And kill it. Uh, Marshall Kwan. Gonna move over to here and shoot at the Piazza Bastard. Okay. And Mercy, we're just gonna heal.
And as predicted, Lucia got killed again, so I mean... Ouch. Alright, uh, where is uh, my man Leroy Brown? Take this dude out. All right, Leroy finished him off. And we'll just move over here. Quan's got to reload. And then a precision strike. Is there someone else left alive? I guess there must be. 11%. What can go wrong? Alright, one more time. Oh, I have to reload. S just switch weapons. It's easier. No dice. Alright. Ogre. The eight percent hit chance, one stray bullet, finish that guy off. All right, and that is how you kill the Piasos. Although I will tell you, in my opinion, this is very, very dangerous. Uh, I need something badly. Oh gosh, that was close. All right, thank you for toast. Alright, look at all these people that got... I need a lot of injury kits. I don't even think I have any. Oh yeah, I do. Alright, Ogre died once. Lucia died three times. And Mercy died once. Alright, well that is that. Let's see what there is around here. Ammo box. Medical crate. And the safe. And we got some various stuff. None of which really life changing or anything like that. All right. And so that is that. Now we can go back out here to the one um, room I didn't unlock. And I didn't unlock it because I didn't want this guy to get killed in combat there. Because sometimes, uh, depending on how quickly you kill Ditso Gogo, um, if you let him run amok, he can pretty much lay waste to your entire team, I think. So... Ave Atakwe Vale. Alright, I think that's Latin, and uh, I should know, I studied Latin. Uh, you found the Provost. So that's that guy. His name is the Provost. And you should try to hold on to him and keep him alive. Alright, so we cleared out the Warrens for Flab. I know this episode's getting a little long in the tooth. We're going to loot one more crate here. And those are just bodies. Oh, wait a minute. That's a truck with stuff in it. Several dead Monster Army corpses have been piled in this corner. Some of the corpses look as they've been chewed on by pigs. Alright. So let's move out and go report back to Flab at a parking meter. Yes, I want that. My riches, please. And let's go turn this in and then we will end the episode for today.
Yeah, it's safe here because I made it here. It's safe here, you tool. All right, let's go talk to Flab. We still need your help to cleanse the warrants of our payaso pests. We took care of all the payasos and the warrants, Flab. You've done us all a great service. All our stores are open to you at a discount. And here, take this as a token. Of my thanks. All right, we'll be back. We'll be waiting. All right, so I know some people leveled up. I'm gonna worry about that later. I wanted to speak to this guy right here named Randy Get. This young red-headed man is decked out with tools ready for work. He turns to you, not pausing his fervent chewing. Maybe he's chewing on his lip. Hey, strangers. Randy's the name. Automobiles are the game. Flab's master mechanic, they call me. How can I help? You like working here, Randy? Not particularly. It's boring work. I only get pulled in if something breaks that a tender can't fix, so I spend most of my time just waiting here, like I'm doing now. But beggars can't be choosers. Would you be interested in a job as a mechanic at Ranger HQ? No offense, but you're a gamble in a hard luck casino. Don't like working in the bazaar, but it's constant money, and I need that right now. See? Some months ago, my dad wrote me that he thought he'd seen folks skulking around our homestead. I dismissed it. Our place has always been isolated and safe. It's stupid. It turns out it was a small band of one of them crazy planes gangs. He sent me a letter. My parents are dead, and they're holding my kid brother and sister hostage. I, I ain't even close to having enough money to pay the ransom. I mean, if I did, I suspect they'd just kill us all after I pay. So what's a guy to do? Well, we could go get your family. I'm not one to condone violence, but I've heard of what you folks have been doing all across Colorado. Whatever you think is needed. Let me show you where to find our old homestead. I'll meet you there. You help out the Get family and I'll work for you. No doubt about it. See you there. It don't take too long, okay? And the reason I wanted to slip that in is because they have a weapon that I really like and I want to use it for my playthrough. So next episode, we will go assist the Get family. And I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching, everybody.